Hello, dear friends. Earthworms, those small creatures, play a huge role in the ecosystem and have long been called nature's engineers of the soil. With their ability to loosen soil, improve soil quality, and maintain ecological balance, earthworms are truly a precious gift from nature. But did you know that in China, the world leader in industrial earthworm farming, these tiny creatures have become the center of a gigantic industry worth tens of billions of RMB every year? Today, we will take you to visit the largest earthworm farm in China to see with your own eyes how people here turn these little creatures into a truly valuable resource. If you find this content helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe to support us. If you have any questions or feedback, leave them in the comments. We really look forward to hearing from you to improve our content even more. With low investment costs, increasingly modern farming techniques, and extremely high economic efficiency, large-scale earthworm farming has become a trend in dozens of provinces across China. This model not only helps millions of farmers earn millions of RMB, but also recycles hundreds of millions of tons of organic waste annually, protecting the environment and promoting sustainable circular agriculture. Let's take a look at the amazing benefits that earthworms bring. Improve soil quality. Worm castings contain five to seven times more organic matter than regular manure and are called black gold fertilizer in the Chinese market. Recycle organic waste. Earthworms cleanly process cow manure, pig manure, agricultural byproducts, kitchen waste, turning them into high-grade fertilizer. High-protein feed source. Fresh earthworms are the main ingredient in aquaculture and poultry feed production, reducing farming costs by 30 to 40%. Thanks to rapid technological advancements and a wide variety of modern machinery, large-scale earthworm farming in Chinese farms has become simpler and more efficient than ever. Farmers not only take advantage of the wonderful characteristics of this species, but also combine them with mechanized manure spreaders and automatic moisture systems, saving up to 80% of labor while creating a closed loop ecosystem that is both environmentally friendly and brings enormous economic value. However, in certain meticulous tasks such as checking moisture levels or adding new worms, human hands still play an irreplaceable role to avoid any harm to the worm population. Earthworms prefer quiet, warm, and highly humid environments. Therefore, large farms in China are usually located in peaceful suburban areas far from industrial zones with good drainage and roofing systems. Ensuring the farming environment is free from pollution is extremely important. All farms must be at least 10 kilometers away from chemical plants and mines to avoid heavy metals and toxic chemicals. This is a mandatory standard set by China's Ministry of Agriculture. To prevent worm loss during farming, building standardized housing is crucial. Farming areas are usually large greenhouses or net houses four to six meters high, covered with UV-resistant polycarbonate sheets. Earthworms are very sensitive to strong light. Just 30 minutes of direct sunlight can cause mass deaths. Therefore, the entire farming area is shaded with 70 to 90% density black netting to create a dim, cool, and stable environment, 
Scientifically designed drainage ditches surround each bed to prevent water logging during rainy seasons while maintaining ideal moisture levels. Temperature is a key factor determining the growth and reproduction of earthworms. The ideal range is 15 degrees to 27 degrees Celsius. In summer in northern China, temperatures can reach 38 to 40 degrees Celsius, so large farms install misting or humidity systems to keep the temperature below 30 degrees Celsius. In winter in Hebei and Henan, when temperatures drop below 0 degrees Celsius, three-layer plastic film is used to fully cover the farming area for insulation. Humidity is always maintained at 70 to 80 percent. For small-scale household farming, Chinese people often use 1,000-liter plastic bins, old wooden trays, or a corner of the garden. As long as it's well covered and has good drainage, the worms grow very healthily. Choosing the right worm strain is extremely important. Currently, the two most popular types are the European imported Isenia fetida, red wiggler, and improved local strains. Large breeding farms in Shandong and Jiangsu supply disease-free worms with high cocoon density and fast adaptability. Some farms even crossbreed larger bodied worms for export as aquaculture feed. Seed worm prices range from 8 to 12 rogram, about 1 to 1.5 USD. Earthworms are omnivorous with a very diverse diet. Main feed sources include fermented cow manure, pig manure, agricultural waste, and kitchen scraps. Among them, cow manure fermented for 20 to 30 days is the most preferred because of its low salinity and ideal carbon to nitrogen ratio. Large farms use automatic mixers to add ground peanut shells and brewery waste to accelerate growth. Feed is evenly spread using specialized machines, with each layer only 15 to 20 centimeters thick to prevent anaerobic fermentation and localized overheating. Although earthworms have good natural disease resistance, large farms still maintain strict hygiene. Every 15 days they spray effective microorganisms, EM, a biological product containing over 80 beneficial strains such as photosynthetic bacteria, lactic acid bacteria, yeast, and actinomycetes. Farmers also regularly check pH kept at 6.5 to 7.5 and stocking density no more than 10 kilograms of adult worms per manguera. When worms reach maturity, usually 45 to 60 days, depending on strain and temperature, farmers harvest on dry days. High-capacity rotary screening machines, 10 to 15 tons per hour, separate soil in one pass, saving up to 90% of labor. However, the final step still requires manual screening by hand to completely remove remaining soil and ensure the product meets standards. After cleaning, worms are electronically weighed packed in foam boxes or bags, and delivered to aquaculture feed companies and high-yield poultry farms. Some worms and cocoons are kept for farm expansion or sold to new farms. Worm castings are not just a byproduct, they are the black gold of Chinese agriculture. Castings are packed in 25 to 40 kilograms bags with traceability labels. Organic certified worm castings sell for 1,800 3,000 RM per ton, about 200 to 400 US per ton. Millions of tons of worm castings are used annually to improve soil for clean vegetables, fruit trees, and export flowers. 
helping China become the world's largest organic agriculture powerhouse. Industrial earthworm farming is not just an economic model. It has become a symbol of green, circular, and sustainable agriculture in China. Thank you all for joining today's journey. Remember to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you won't miss our next videos about the most advanced agricultural technologies in Asia. See you next time.